Welcome to the One Choice for Your Store tutorial, signing up for Price Grabber and Yahoo Shopping. We're on the Price Grabber sign up page for Yahoo Stores and we're given two different options. Do we want to join the Yahoo Shopping Network only or Yahoo Shopping and Price Grabber? For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to sign up for both. Now the first question we're asked is to give our merchant name and this is actually going to be the name that shows up next to our products so you want to make sure to put in the name of your company here we're going to also put in our website URL one of the things that I like to do when I'm putting in our website URL is actually go to our website copy the URL and paste it into the form uh, this is something that you don't want to mess up and so I like to get it exactly and um, we're going to go ahead and fill in the rest to the account information and the billing information real quickly and we're going to skip this part for you guys but come back when we're all done now that we finished putting in all of our information and billing information we're into the payment options and you can choose to be charged the initial deposit one time or keep enrolled in the auto pay plan the difference is is that with the first option um, whenever your account balance runs all out they're going to email you let you know that the funds are out or give you some warning and you can go ahead and choose to have your credit card charged again the other option will go ahead and charge your account every single time your account gets low the choice is up to yours which one you choose to do then you have to agree to the referral marketing agreement and decide if you also want to add a logo next to your listings and if you want to add a logo you are going to be charged 10 cents per click understand that uh, 10 cents per click to have that added next to your listing should you do that is it going to increase your conversion rates the only answer to give you is test 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 but once you decide either way go ahead and click on the continue button step two is a quick email verification and click continue now we're going to be asked about our feed format do you have a product data feed yes is the feed visible yes you see the Yahoo store sets up this feed for you so what we want to do is go into the back end of our Yahoo store, go to the bottom left hand side underneath promote and we're going to click on search engines. What I want you to do is look under enable and submit your product catalog to shopping comparison engines. Make sure those are enabled. Then go to the catalog.xml and copy that URL. Go ahead and paste that URL into the URL of your feed and then you're going to click on save and finish later this is going to log you out completely that's okay because the next step is logging into your account and verifying that that URL worked so how do you know if that feed worked you click on analyze feed and if it doesn't work you'll get this big red box that says please correct the errors marked in red now if you get this error don't worry just go back into the store and go grab the obginfo.xml link instead and paste that in go back to analyze feed and everything is complete no red box everything looks good we can go ahead and click on the continue button now we're given a little warning here that says that our feed doesn't contain any shipping cost now that's not a problem because we can actually go ahead and enter in our shipping information right here. Um, the formula we're going to use is a flat fee and we're just going to put in zero as our shipping cost because we have free shipping. For our tax rates, the shipping is not taxed and we're going to go ahead because we don't have any shipping costs um, and then we're going to go ahead and click on our state which is Michigan and we're going to put in a tax rate of let's say six percent and once you're done with that you're going to go ahead and click on continue and everything's done your registration is completed within one to two days you should see your products in price grabber if you don't see your products after five business days go ahead and give their customer service a call we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on setting up price grabber and yahoo shopping if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us and make sure to visit onechoiceforyourstore.com 
for more Yahoo Store tutorials.